back or pay up. Today, the California Water Board is considering new mandatory statewide water restrictions, which could include fining water wasters up to $500 a day. This comes as a new report shows Californians aren't doing enough to save water this summer. In fact, despite efforts to conserve, water use is actually rising. We're going to check in with meteorologist David Bigger with a closer look at the severity of the drought right now. But first, let's go to KCRA 3's David Beenick live in Sacramento with how today's decision could impact people at home. David. Yeah, Lisa, good afternoon. As you mentioned, uh, the big news out of the meeting so far as a fire engine passes by us here in front of the Cal EPA building is that despite Governor Brown's call for a 20% statewide water use cut, that the latest state survey shows uh, that in the month of May, water use by cities was actually up up 1% in California. Now that's mainly because of an 8% usage surge by uh, Los Angeles and other south coast cities in the state. So now the water board is considering cracking down residents and businesses who waste water, for example, by hosing down sidewalks or washing their cars with a hose that doesn't have a nozzle. They could face fines of up to $500 a day. Now that's a maximum amount and the state water board says chances are cities uh, would give water wasters warnings first in lesser amounts before getting to that maximum fine. Still, the chair of the state water board says she thinks this will help. A, a lot of studies show that mandatory conservation actually does get people's attention more. It doesn't require a massive amount of $500 fines. It's just people want to do the right thing. They want to follow the law and the regulations, and it shows that we're serious. So right now, uh, the uh, water board is getting an earful from people in the public. For example, some power washing companies were just at the podium, podium and they were pointing out that homes need, normally need to be washed down with power washers before they can be painted to get the dust and dirt off. They say if they are not given some sort of exemption, house painting may have to come to an end temporarily in California. The board uh, may make some exemptions and other changes to these proposals, but if they don't vote today on these regulations, Regulations, then they won't be able to put them into place as predicted by August 1st. Live in downtown Sacramento, David Bean at KCRA 3 News. Okay, we'll have to see what happens in that meeting. David, thank you.